Meet Arnold. And he's walking around the zoo today. Hey, Dipknob, stop acting like you're king of the beasts. Have some respect, Arnold. You and the chimpanzee share ancestors. We diverged from them seven million years ago. Life lived in the forest and in open plains simultaneously helped us develop bipedalism and our upright posture. This in turn freed up our hands for tool use and other useful activities such as taming fire. Cooking food helped contribute to better and faster digestion, which together with some other things led to us developing our bigger and better brains. Yes, Arnie, I know it's hard to believe, but the march of evolution is still ongoing. For example, because we began to cook food before eating, our jaws have shrunk and wisdom teeth have already stopped growing in 20% of human beings. In addition, along with the improvement in the quality of food, the average height of Homo sapiens has increased by 10 centimeters. But then again, so has his weight. However, for modern people, it's not body changes that are so important, but technology. It allows us to move around while sitting, fly, and even get a cold beer without getting out of our comfy chairs. What'll be next? Wow, look! It looks like scientists have created a supercomputer that can predict our future. And it has a message for us. Let's listen. Over the past hundred years, the number of people on the planet has quadrupled. At the same time, humanity has destroyed 80% of all animal fauna. And environmental pollution has already led to irreversible climate change. Therefore, in the future, due to global warming, our bodies will stretch, our skin will darken, and our ears will grow out for better heat dissipation. Whoa, Arnold, you look a lot like your neighbor, Henry. But the fact is, in the last 150,000 years, Homo sapiens' brains have shrunk by 200 grams, and they're continuing to shrink. A more comfortable life leads to inactivity and degradation. Homo sapiens could lose his intelligence forever. The largest man in the world ever was Robert Pershing Wadlow. His height was 2 meters 72 centimeters, and he lived for just 22 years. He suffered from a disease called gigantism. With this disease, the brain releases excessive amounts of growth hormone. Therefore, in the process of human evolution, the norms for height and weight were established, and any large deviations are considered disease. One of the biggest stresses is to the heart, which has to circulate 15 liters of blood instead of just the normal five. And the heart often can't withstand such strenuous dynamics for too long. But what about the fact that there are other giant creatures on Earth, like whales? Well, everything can be easily explained. The density of water is higher than the density of air and is almost equal to a human's density. That's why we can float on the surface of salt water. This means that the habitat itself supports the weight of living things. For example, whales, whose ancestors 50 million years ago looked a lot like a dog with hooves. Godzilla and King Kong could not exist on Earth at all because of our friend gravity. But let's say we turn off gravity to scientifically allow for the existence of Godzilla and King Kong. Everything on Earth that isn't fixed to the ground would take off into space. That includes people who, if caught in the open, will be shot off into the great beyond. Montage. Mother of God, it's a dang dinosaur! Oh, Arnold, you scared me! I see you decided to visit the Paleo History Museum. It's really cool here. Even Orochimaru from Naruto is here. I heard he knows secrets of resurrection. He can bring dead things back to life. What the heck? No. He's using it on the dinosaurs. Run, you dang fools. Dinosaurs are very dangerous. Whether it's herbivores, carnivores, or even those radical dinosaurs, they're insanely angry. And you would be too if you hadn't eaten in 66 million years. 
Furthermore, the dinosaurs are getting even angrier now that they see what happened to their descendants over the course of evolution. Dinosaurs reigned on Earth for 160 million years, but the fall of a meteorite changed the course of evolution and allowed for the development of our ancestors' mammals. Now, only the strongest will survive. But what in tarnation's going on now? Wait. I think I get it. Over the last 66 million years, the Earth's climate has gotten colder and the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere has changed. It looks like dinosaurs can't live here anymore and are gonna die out once again. We could build a Jurassic Park. We'll feed them and artificially maintain the climate. This place could be the most profitable tourist spot in the world. And we'll also be a global supplier of eggs and manure. Dino poop. But then again, an ordinary dinosaur eats a ton of grass a day or more than 100 kilograms of meat. More than likely, the dinosaurs will eat all the fauna in the park and then probably start eating each other until they die out again. No matter how you slice it, the dinosaurs just aren't going to be able to live in our time. Do you really want to save them, Arnie? The only option is to send the dinosaurs back to the past, to their perfect world. Time to say goodbye, Arnie. At least there, you know they're going to be better off. Or maybe not. So, Arnie, buddy, you've ended up in a parallel universe. There were no pandemics here. Space technology has developed super quickly and provoked an alien attack. And I thought our 2023 was the worst. Sorry, Arnold. Nothing can save you now. Except for artificial intelligence. Which also decided to take over the world on the sly. Hurry, Arnold! Grab the portal gun! It can take you home! Arnold, no, that's not your universe! Right at the most interesting moment. Not how I imagined everything. Due to a volcanic eruption, the sky is filled with dense clouds and humanity has found itself without the sun. Interesting. Can you live like this? A billion people suffer from vitamin D deficiency. If the sun disappears, then after seven days, half the population will suffer from acute depression, and there'll be a 75% increase in the risk of getting cancer. There'll be a 32% increase in cases of stroke, and it'll become twice as easy to get diabetes. Therefore, better stock up not on canned food, but on vitamins. Without the sun, there's no reason to live on the surface anymore. So everyone moves underground and adapts to this new existence. Nutrition is in the hands of science and technology. Scientists create mushroom and hydroponic farms capable of growing a variety of products. And with a 3D printer, you can quickly print out your favorite dishes. Without sunlight, the human brain can't distinguish between day and night. Your hormones go haywire. And there's a sharp rise in obesity. When the hormone leptin, responsible for appetite, is reduced by 80%, the daily portion of food will increase by almost half, 44%, and this will lead to extra weight. Hey, I'm not sure you can go there. Everything looks like in movies about superheroes. A long corridor, a secret laboratory, and here's the solution. All this turns out to be a global experiment. Who's behind all of this? Come on, Arnold, defeating this strange main villain, you can save the planet. Vitamin D helps in the assimilation of calcium, essential for healthy bones. If it's deficient, your bones become weak and fragile. That's why when you're walking, your feet feel like rubber. And under conditions of complete darkness, your chance of getting a fatal fracture is doubled. Arnold, you're a real hero. You've returned all mankind to a normal life. Decided to hang out in the park, did ya? Looks like this burrito was out of your league. Quick, find something to drink. Arnold, wait. God knows what might be in this magic shop. Well, since you successfully solved your Mexican food problem, let's go have some fun. Got it, you'll cross the road on red. 
grope random girls. You'll also win the Kenny McCormick Lookalike Contest. That's ridiculous. You have an infinite number of years ahead of you, and you waste them on this? Arnold, you could study everything in the world, learn any martial art, and even go explore and colonize new galaxies. Arnold, how about maybe stop wasting your time? Okay, so maybe for 200 years, you're gonna binge watch every single Netflix series. I see you got a little bored. Plus, your house has started to decay and you're still young. One of the disadvantages of immortality is that you have to outlive all your loved ones. In addition, the world around you is changing rapidly. But you will lag behind in progress and you will feel superfluous in society. Everything that was once important to you will gradually disappear. Over time, everything will cease to please and surprise you at all because you've already seen everything. You will become deeply depressed. Sorry, friend, but it's no use. Stop it, Arnold. You know you're immortal. Arnold, let's go watch the show. Arnold. Okay, I'll leave you alone. Several days later. This little piggy is a little smarter than Arnold. And no, not because it has a Neuralink chip in its brain, but because she came here by bus, unlike our red-headed fool who parked his car with the Mafia for $50 an hour. At this conference, Elon Musk will demonstrate the process of installing an advanced microchip into the brain of these cute little monkeys and in the near future into the brain of a person. Arnold, stop teasing the primates with your keys. See, great. Well, you had it coming, buddy. I don't understand how Elon could have invited such a doofus to his conference. Arnold, run! It's time to pay for parking or a tow truck is gonna take your car. We need to get the keys from the chimpanzees as soon as possible. Who, with parking prices like these, you're gonna have to live on dollar store ramen till the end of the month. Get in the monkey suit. You'll have better luck this way, trust me. I know it smells like butt cheese, but it's only for five minutes. One more time, Arnold, you can do it. Hey, dudes, where are you taking Arnold? Only I'm allowed to experiment on him. Elon, please be gentle with Arnold. But really, who am I talking to? I'm just a voice in the head of this dumbass. Arnold's brain is almost the same size as that of a primate, and this version of the chip will suit him perfectly. Thanks to Neuralink and Wi-Fi, Arnold can now communicate with other owners of this device via the power of thought. He also benefits from a tremendous increase in the speed of interaction with the internet. Arnold, come on, concentrate. You can do it. Download Monkey Sign Language from the internet. I never doubted that you'd succeed, Arnold but I didn't think you'd drag it out for a whole day. I thought you were so stupid that even the Neuralink chip couldn't help you. But you just forgot to turn it on, you moron. It looks like Elon Musk wants to find out if we can develop telepathic abilities in a human being. Don't worry, Arnold. They'll let you go if you answer correctly. So, guess what's in the picture? Wrong! And on this one? No! Get it together, man! Arnold, you pull yourself together already. Even a rat learns faster than that. Well, true, this ain't no ordinary rat. He has a chip in his brain. Scientists proved the possibility of transmitting nerve impulses from a distance back in 2013. The rats were in different cities, but they acted together, thanks to electrodes implanted in their brains and the internet. It looks like Elon Musk is going to try all the different ways to develop telepathy on you at the same time. Arnold, stop! You haven't mastered your new skills yet, buddy. Mind reading has many benefits. Now, people can't hide anything from you. 
But I have to warn you, you won't like everything hmm. they think about. The pros in a relationship, you can immediately know if your partner really loves you or not. You can understand the language of animals and you can find your perfect match. But what if all people could read each other's minds? An ideal world without lies or falsehood. Or maybe not. Hey, mister, don't be offended if he thought your nose is too pimply. Gosh darn it, this is a disaster. No, Arnie, stop! Don't even think about it.